You know what? Belkin concerts aren't what they used to be. I used to get so excited for these things, and not so much anymore. They have definitely changed a lot. But before we get into that, I want to compare concerts here in America to the ones in the homeland. In America, ticket price ranges are a little bit high in comparison to homeland standards. In America, it ranges between $30 to $60, depending on who's coming. Over there in the homeland, you can see people for a fraction of the price, or even better, free. On the same note, when it comes to drinks, I can get hammered for $10. Here, I have to take out a loan for a bottle of wine. When it comes to crowds in America, everyone jams out, dances, and generally has a good time. Over there, all people do is people watch, smoke cigarettes, act unimpressed, and take selfies. While I'm over here like... Now let's get back to how American concerts have gone down for the worse. For starters, promoters bring the same damn people and repeat. Here are my top five people that should be banned. Number one. Boban Vajovic. I swear to God, if I hear Usne Boyevina one more time, I'm gonna slip my frickin' wrists. Number two, Dado Polamenta. Number three, Nedel Kovaic Baya, who comes here every Thanksgiving. Honestly, I'd rather have Bora Drljača. Number four, Bielo Dugman. Haven't they broken up already? Why do they keep coming back? I thought they were retired. And number five, Sasha Matic. Now don't get me wrong, the man has hits and hits and hits, but he comes here too often where the songs get annoying. Like seriously, there are so many singers out here who haven't been here yet, but somehow they keep repeating the same five. Another issue I have is the venue. Chicago concerts are almost always at a place called Hanging Gardens. From a business perspective, I get it. You have a good business relationship, you get a good deal, you can stuff it with however many people to capacity, have free parking, it's a no-brainer, right? I mean, come on, change it up a bit. Plus, there's no coat check. So if you don't know anyone with a table, you're fizzucked. The last concert I went to, I had to put my coat behind the stage. And the worst part is I had to get my jacket at the end of the concert. So I couldn't even leave early. So annoying. Does anyone else think that drink tickets are annoying? Cause I do. The line is just as long for the tickets as it is for the bar. So obviously I'm gonna get more tickets so I don't have to keep coming back here. But the downfall is that I almost never order enough drinks. So I end up throwing the tickets away. Plus the people I wanna give it to have the same problem. Now let me introduce you to some of the people that show up to these events. We have the scantily clad teeny boppers. <laughs> my daughter walked out of the house like that, she would have so many belt buckle welts on her body that she would need to cover up. Speaking of fashion, some girls like to be unique and trendy with their look to, you know, step out of a crowd. I get it, you want to make a statement. All I'm getting from this is that Elvis sure has left the building. Some people are like vampires. They come dressed up in the era that they were slayed in. Okay, first of all, what's with the outfit? Live in the now, okay? You look like DeBarge. Like, where the hell do you find this stuff? Moving along, we have those old people that are in midlife crisis. Trying to be young, even though they're old. I mean, there are older people who are, like, normal, but there's always that set that think they're, like, 23 when they're really 63. I find it weird when they find older people at, like, a Yala Brat concert. Like, you lost, bro? And lastly, we have the drunks, the cheating spouses, the forever singles trying to find a spouse, but the chances of that are very slim, because you don't got much to choose from. Let me tell you the worst concert I ever went to in the States. God, it even kills me to say this but Dragan Amirkovic 2017. Not only did they stuff us all in this shoebox of a sala, but some people who actually bought the tickets didn't even get a chance to get in because we reached capacity. Like, that's not fair. And because they reached capacity, you couldn't even dance, you couldn't even enjoy yourself. It was a bunch of pushing and shoving. I was so over it. Now, don't get me wrong. Dragana was amazing. It's just unfortunate that the organization was a big fat zero. You can find proof of this by reading the comments in the event page itself. It's still there. I'm just glad I'm not the only one who thinks that. Now the best concert I've been to. As of recently, Maya Berovic with Yala Brat and Bubo Corelli was the best. <laughs> Awesome, but the all-star winner of like the best concerts of all time and the people who were there will still tell you this to this day It was Dragan Amirkovic 1996. He was on a stage high enough for everyone to see, everyone had tables, there's no pushing and shoving Kids were actually allowed to go on stage to give her flowers, she kissed them, I still have the napkin with the lipstick on it, thank you very much, and also the tickets. She even had a meet and greet earlier on in the day with Željko Šašić. Like how awesome is that? Nowadays I can't even bribe people for a pick. Those days are long gone. 
Keep posted on upcoming videos by subscribing to my channel down here. Follow me on Snapchat and Instagram at Surgeon underscore General. And Facebook and Twitter at Surgeon General.